so excited to take you out today. We're gonna drive all around Gainesville and I'm gonna share with you the different sections of town. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better feel for exactly where you wanna live. So starting off in Northwest Gainesville, what really comes to mind for me is gonna be all of the trees in the area. Then you've got tons of parks, playgrounds, and trails to check out. There are also some popular schools, so it's a common choice for families with school-aged children. Out on the furthest corner of Northwest Gainesville, you'll find San Flasco Park and the Devil's Mill Hopper. Overall, just beautiful scenery with oak-covered streets. As you come in, small office complexes and mom-and-pop shops. This is also where some of the mid-century modern homes Gainesville has. To me, this side of town just moves at a slightly slower, more casual pace. So I was born and raised here in Gainesville, and over the last few decades, I've seen our town change so much. At this point, each section of town basically has its own identity. Now my goal with you today is to share with you those different sections as basically your intro course to Gainesville. Now keep in mind, this is just brushing the surface, and I've put together some additional videos that will dive deeper into each part of town. So if you're curious about what life's really like in these pockets of Gainesville, make sure you've subscribed to get all the updated videos. Next, we're over in Southwest Gainesville, where you'll find a unique blend of retail and nature. This part of town is a bustling hub where you can get all of your shopping done at Butler Plaza and Celebration Point or take in the beautiful scenery at Kanapal Botanical Gardens. The southwest side of town is also where you'll find the majority of new construction happening in Gainesville. If your goal is to be close to places like Whole Foods, Target, Chick-fil-A, and the hospital, southwest Gainesville may be right for you. With so much going on in this area, you can also expect to find more traffic and congestion on the road. Now going over to Northeast Gainesville, you'll find more of an original Gainesville feel on this part of town. The well-known Duck Pond is a prime example of some historic homes Gainesville has to offer. Northeast Gainesville is also home to industrial parks, car dealerships, and our local regional airport. If you love the history and the stories and the charm, Northeast Gainesville may be where you feel right at home. And there's no way I can talk about Northeast Gainesville without mentioning Satchel's Pizza. Yes, the pizza there is great, but definitely don't forget about the salads. So now we're over in Southeast Gainesville, and this is a part of town my family and I love to come. Cause the splash pad here at Depot Park is so much fun, or you can spend an afternoon walking through the Cade Museum. Stopping by Humble Wood Fire and the Opus Airstream in the 4th Avenue Food Park is also a must. If you enjoy the outdoors and nature, Southeast is home to both Lachua Trail and Sweetwater Wetlands Park, where you're almost guaranteed to see gators. Southeast Gainesville is also where you can find some of the older Gainesville home sites. So now we'll go over to a part of town that can feel like a completely separate town. That's actually going to be downtown Gainesville and midtown Gainesville. This is certainly a busy area. Not only are there a lot of small businesses and offices here, but because of the university, this area has a unique feeling all to itself. Many will enjoy a great dinner downtown and a show at the Hippodrome, but it's more than just buildings and roads. It's a mosaic of culture, art, and community. So that was just your introduction to Gainesville. What you'll want to do next is click the subscribe button. That way you stay posted as I publish new videos going deep into each section of Gainesville, sharing the best neighborhoods, the best schools, and all the things you need to know when you're moving to the area.